Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be making roasted butternut squash and tomato soup. For this recipe, you will need one large butternut squash peeled and cut into two inch pieces, one red onion, one cup of tomatoes of choice, we're using grape tomatoes, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of ground mustard seed, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of coriander, and four cups of vegetable stock. Begin by peeling your butternut squash. Be sure to be working with the contours of the butternut squash rather than against them. If it is easier, you can cut the butternut squash where it begins to get round and peel from there. Next, you'll cut off the very top of the butternut squash and cut the bottom off as well. Then you will cut it lengthwise and use a spoon to remove the seeds on the inside. From there, you can cut the pieces into the appropriate size, which is about one to two inches. The smaller you cut the pieces, the faster they will cook. Once they are cut, set them aside. Be sure to cut the entire butternut squash and not just half. Then, using the red onion, you will dice it. Here we are showing a technique that makes it really easy to cut an onion. Then, on a baking sheet, you'll lay out all of your cut vegetables. So here we've also included two cloves of garlic. Then you will pour on top the two tablespoons of olive oil. Next, you'll add all of your seasonings. That would be your teaspoon of ground cumin, your teaspoon of coriander, your teaspoon of turmeric, and your teaspoon of ground mustard seeds. Be sure to add salt and pepper to taste. Next, you'll just mix it up and make sure that everything is evenly coated. Then you'll put it into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the vegetables, specifically the butternut squash, become fork tender or knife tender, take them out and allow them to cool. Once cooled, place into a food processor. Begin blending and adding your vegetable stock as needed. you should be able to reach a very smooth consistency. Once you've reached a smooth consistency in the food processor, add the contents over to a large pot. You will boil or simmer until you've reached a good temperature. Allow it to cool properly and serve. Enjoy!